everybody, welcome back to the Show and Tell Show. I am here with Nicole Jackson from Penetang Machine Centennial Museum and Genevieve Carter from over at Heronia Museum in Midland. And this week we were visiting hair stuff. Things to make your hair special, curly, straight, whatever hair stuff can do. So since Penetang Machine Centennial Museum threw out the challenge, Nicole, you're going first. All right. So our artifact, um, at first you probably wouldn't realize that it is hair related, um, but when I'll tell you, when I show you inside, you will know what it was used for maybe. Do you see right there? Mm -hmm. There is like a little hole there and a gap here. I mean, and this is a mustache cup. So we went with an artifact on your face and um, for anybody, you know, in November might want to use one of these, but basically this part was here just to protect your mustache when you would drink your hot tea or your coffee. And we just thought this was one of our really fun little artifacts that we have and, you know, maybe to buy for someone that has everything that they need to have their own mustache cup. So that is our artifact for this week. Oh, that's wonderful. So that's very cool. Excellent. So what do we have, Genevieve? Okay, because she's rather large, about 69 inches tall, um, unwieldy, and her casters make her roll like a wonky grocery cart, I could not bring her home. But the artifact I'm going to talk about is this, doo -doo -doo, which is a permanent wave machine. Now there's a, this, ours is a, called the Eugene Model X. Uh, from about 1930, it was used in Midland. And um, I have an advertisement, the text from an advertisement from 1922. Uh, just think of the great improvement wave makes in appearance. Close your eyes and imagine fairy fingers transforming your length strands into lovely lasting curls, as natural looking as if you were born with them. And so I would say that what was true in 1922 is certainly true of uh, today's COVID hair. Um, so what you, it's, you hook her, well, you hook yourself up like this. So I don't know if you oh can my. see, but yeah. that's, yeah, what you'd look like. Um, this machine actually here, this photograph I've got is a little bit different from ours. Uh, our machine or this machine here, what you do is you wrap your hair in, or in curlers kind of cylindrically, almost like a helix, and then you place these uh, cylindrical um, covers over top. And they're heated and they help to set the curl in your hair. But ours uh, is um, your hair is curled, uh, what's it called? Uh, like a croquignol, it's called. So you start at the ends of your hair and you twirl, 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 twirl curl, curl to the, the roots of your hair. And then we have like a bulldog clip that fits over top. So it's a little bit different. It results apparently in a very different kind of curl. But this is what you'd look like. These things were in use probably from about the 1920s. Uh, the 19. 40s they started to go um, they were out because you had cold setting of your hair you did no longer needed the heat like these machines provided uh, but these were all the rage for quite a while because honestly everybody always wants a different kind of hairstyle you know you, know, you don't like your straight locks you want something nice and curly so these were and surprisingly uh, no deaths resulted from this kind of hooking your head up to all this electricity you'd think so I think a lot of women were maybe um, had their scalps uh, singed or burnt um, and then the chemicals of course would do a lot of damage to your hair but there didn't really seem to be much otherwise so that's our machine our wow. Eugene model permanent so wave machine we have had that on the floor on the, uh, on the exhibit floor in the past i've seen it live it's quite the thing to behold you wouldn't it you is wouldn't rather frightening 
No, you could yeah. not. And that was actually, there was one death that did result. And that was the, uh, there, a fire broke out in a beauty parlor somewhere in the U.S. And the poor woman was hooked up to this. Everyone else in the, because it is portable, it's got the caster, so you can move it across the floor of the, the parlor. But the one poor woman, when she tried to escape, the machine fell on top of her and she was not able to leave. Oh but anyway, that's the only death. <laughs> I guess we always suffer for our fashion, right? Yeah, we, we do, do we do. I know. Awesome. So those are great examples of things we have. Um, the mustache cup is so awesome. It's such a novelty. I'm surprised they haven't made a comeback for as a fundraiser. Yes! For, them, you know? for the hipsters too. Oh God, yeah. Exactly. Mustaches yeah, are such a thing now. Yeah. I know. So our turn to challenge you. And our challenge is, we were thinking... There are so many great community groups and charities in North Simcoe that have done amazing things for our communities. They've done fundraisers to build things for the community to use to help community members achieve certain goals. So let's look for some examples of some good work that charities have done in North Simcoe. I am sure our collections are just full of stuff like that. Yes. So let's see if we can find a really good example for next week. Awesome. Great. Okay, cool. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us again. Um, you know, I know we're all suffering from COVID here, but don't resort to that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Same time, same channel. Bye. Bye. Bye.